Let's talk about J.K. Rollins. Now, you all know J.K. Rollins, I hope, because many of you read Harry Potter. She's one of the most successful, uh, you know, authors of, uh, of modern times, a woman who went from a warfare recipient in uh, Great Britain to a billionaire, to becoming a billionaire, um, a, a woman who wrote Harry Potter, some of the, you know, I enjoyed them, some of the most, more enjoyable books written for, for I guess, a young adult in the last uh, few decades, a massive, huge, unbelievable success. She also happens to be somewhat left of center. Anyway, J.K. Rollins tweeted today about a particular case. This is a case of a woman who, um, working for a some kind of think tank, nonprofit think tank, working on research. Uh, she was a researcher. Anyway, she supposedly, and I don't know all the details, but she was supposed to be, uh, she was working for a group called the Center for Global Development in London. And she tweeted about stuff about, you know, men are men, women are women, transgender. You don't just become a woman because you decide you're a woman. Or you don't just become a man because you decide you're a man or whatever. She was tweeting this stuff. Now, I'm not taking a position right now on that whole question, although you know, as, as you know, I'm pretty skeptical about the whole thing. Um, but she was fired for doing this. Now, of course, the problem with these kind of firings is now she's suing the, because she was being discriminated against. And put aside the legal question of whether anybody should be allowed to sue an employer because they were fired for anything. Anybody, sh you know, an employer should be able to sue should be able to fire anybody for any cause. Um, so, here is what J.K. Rollins tweeted. Right? So J.K. Rollins tweeted the following. Dress however you please. Call yourself whatever you like. Sleep with any consenting adult who will have you. Live your best life in peace and security. But force women out of their job for stating that sex is real? Question mark. And then hashtag, it, it, um, I stand with Maya. Maya is the woman who was fired. Uh, hashtag, this is not a drill. All right. So that's what J.K. Well, I mean, pretty, pretty tame, I think. Basically saying, I don't want to intervene if, if you're an adult and you decide you want to dress up like a woman, or if you even want to have the surgery, you know. Politically, I'm not going to do anything about it. Politically, I'm not going to interfere. I'm not going get, 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 to get involved. But, you know, leave your life. I'll leave you alone. None of my business. But it's wrong to fire somebody for having that point of view. For claiming that sex is real. And look, sex is real. There might be real confusion, psychological confusion that is real. I don't deny that. I feel sorry for people who have this confusion. But sex is real. Men are men, and there are biological markers for that that are pretty obvious, and some that are probably less obvious. And then there are markers for women, and yes, there are women who, are, who biologically are more like men and men who are more like women, but there's still a difference. Men have penises, women don't. Women have ovaries, eggs, periods. Men don't. And you can't, that you cannot yet replicate. You can artificially change the hormones, but that's from the outside, artificially. They're real change. They're real differences. So stating that, I mean, J.K. Rollins tweeted this, and the response has been unbelievable. I mean, she has been ridiculed, accused of transphobia, uh, shunned, uh, uh, you know, people are unsubscribing or whatever, unfollowing. There's this massive uproar in, on, among the left, you know, basically attacking their own left. It is so nutty that a few weeks ago, even Obama said, this is nutty. <laughs> this what's called... Walk, woke, 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 woke culture, woke culture, where you have to say the right things and have to do the right things, and if you don't, you're out. 
automatically, no matter what your rest of your resume is, no matter if you're J.K. Rollins and, and, and have generally a leftist point of view about life, if you say something like this, you're out. I mean, just look it up. So how did I discover this? Because I don't follow J.K. Rollins and I don't usually see this. I often look at my Twitter. I look at what is the, what is the thing that's being, uh, what do you call the Twitter? Twitter has on the side there. The thing that is, um, you know, what's trending? That's right. What's trending? And J.K. Rollins was number one in trending. And I said, oh, I wonder, maybe, maybe she's got a new book out. Maybe there's another movie. Maybe there's something interesting happening. No, it's because of this tweet. She is the most, the most trending person out there. J.K. Rollins, you can look it up on Twitter. And the attacks are vicious, vile, disgusting. You're not allowed to have an opinion. You're not allowed to speak. They call it now, I guess it's called to be canceled. I'm canceling you. You're no good. You're being canceled. Right? That's canceled. You're out. So J.K. Rollins is being canceled because she supports a woman who wrote an essay or did some tweets, you know, I, which just based on some stuff I've read don't seem really very outrageous um, about this whole trans issue. And not outrageous no matter what you think about it, right? No matter where you are. If you think, no, no, people should get the surgery and they're fine and everything's cool with it. Even if that's the case, people can disagree. People should be able to disagree. This is a complex issue. It's a complex issue. But no, if you go against this cultural leftism, you're automatically shut down. You're automatically silenced. Well, not silenced. Twitter hasn't silenced J.K. Rollins. But you're... From the perspective of the people, these people, they don't want to hear from you again. They walk away, even though you might be an ally of theirs on lots of other things. I mean, there's certain things where I think that's fine to do, right? I think with racism, that's fine to do. If you're a communist, you should shun communists. But here's an issue that has nuance, that is complex, that's not easy to do. All right. So anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. Um, okay. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute.